a great day is up ahead with another warm and dry afternoon. Our next rain and storm chance that does start to come back really midweek and then into next weekend. We already had this rain and storm chance from an approaching cold front and then Cristobal, the tropical storm into the Gulf of Mexico, does look to make landfall even by this afternoon and that adds in just a little bit moisture more so to our approaching rain chance and that's from this approaching cold front. It's really out towards the west even over Nevada and also into Utah. You can see it back behind that will continue to work its way off towards the east across the country and off towards the eastern half of the country. Here's where we do have really what's the impacts of tropical storm Cristobal. We can see that how much of that cloud cover does stretch really back here, even close to home and for a good portion. There's those outer rain bands. We have already had some of those isolated tornadoes in the parts of Florida, Georgia, and then some heavy rainfall, as you can already see, making its way, of course, across the southern states and the southern Gulf Coast, and then also into Louisiana. Cristobal is about 70 miles just to the south here of Grand Isle, so we are seeing this track and really make its way just off towards the north. It has picked up speed just a little bit compared to yesterday and here you can see it just making landfall looks to be just off towards the west of Grand Isle by this afternoon. Winds upwards about 50 miles per hour but you can also see these impacts the rain the wind it doesn't just around really the center of the storm it's for a wide area and even where we saw that rain still into parts of Florida so we still have to watch the impacts all the way across the area as this does continue, really what's left of Tropical Storm Cristobal, the remnants, that does continue into Arkansas, Missouri, as we go Monday into Tuesday, and then continuing off towards the north. Now remember I showed you that cold front, there it is again, working its way off towards the east. Here's your Tuesday morning. By Tuesday night, here's what's happened. The, the two systems really start to interconnect and merge together. So here's where our rain and storm chance just picks up a little bit, takes the moisture with it. Here's your Wednesday, then more so for our Wednesday and really Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That cold front crosses through. We're seeing that rain chance with it as well as we get going even into the weekend. So Wednesday, Thursday, 40 to 50% alert icon, where we can see a little bit more of that stormy activity, which we'll be watching for. Then Friday, Saturday, into next weekend, that's where we are seeing just about a 30% chance for a few isolated storms. And that cold front for today, this morning, crossing on through, probably not even going to really realize it, but we do have that north wind coming from back behind it, and you can see picking up a little bit more. So here's where we will feel a little bit more comfortable for today. Temperature wise, it's still warm, mid to upper 70s already, continuing to the upper 80s this afternoon, just not nearly as muggy. Plenty of sunshine, nice and dry. That's even how we continue into next week, but from that cold front, that north wind, we do drop to the low to mid 80s and are staying there all the way for next week.